real true ay ay wo hop set 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 yo what's up everyone this is vcv so it's welcome to a brand new video where today i'll be talking about my thoughts on halo infinite being delayed once again but till fall 2021 now you may be wondering if you heard me talk about my past oh, Halo. Oh, like you love the original Halo trilogy and the last Halo you played was Halo Reach? Well, yeah, I haven't played Halo at all since Halo Reach because Halo Reach is fucking dog shit. So, I've been pretty much hoping for a new Halo game to actually be good. And Halo Infinite may have a chance to be the revival of the franchise as long as it's a good game. Now... Before I get into my spiel of my thoughts on it overall in this current delay till fall 2021, you may be wondering, do I think that this delay could be beneficial overall for the game? I don't know. Well, I, I would hope for it to be beneficial, but hey, this is the second delay that Halo Infinite has had, and we all know how many delays Cyberpunk 2077 has had recently and how many issues that that game is going through right now on day release. Ugh, game looking like trash. So, with Halo Infinite, I hope this is going to be a beneficial delay because I literally haven't played Halo since Halo 3, which was my favorite Halo game and still is to this day. Halo 3 to me is the definitive Halo experience and Halo f just isn't the same man it really isn't ever since 343 took the helm of handling all of the Halo games ever since Bungie departed from Microsoft to work on the Destiny series it really started a trickle down of horrible boring planned Halo games all created by 343 and it's just very disappointing that so many Halo games across the past decade have been above average at best, if not just decent overall. And that's that's disappointing. It really is. The games that Bungie made, the Halo games that they made, were the definitive Halo experiences, in my opinion. Still to this day, they are just that good. You can play any of those games right now, single player and or online, and it's a blast. Like... 343 tried to bring back the love of the original games with the Master Chief Collection and on the day of release and still to this day there's still tons of bugs and glitches and issues with the Master Chief Collection still no matter what platform you're playing on and that's very appalling appalling is the best word how are you gonna try and recreate an entire Halo Collection the Master Chief Collection and make it barely even playable in some instances it's not good hopefully halo infinite is playable but as you may be seeing from the gameplay on screen it may look playable but it definitely doesn't look good this is supposed to be 1080p footage and i'm telling you right now this looks like it's 540p xenoblade definitive edition fidelity my god oh that's why it's also good that there's a delay another delay to fall 2021 the graphic fidelity in Halo Infinite is all right at best, but it doesn't look next gen. For those who may not know, the first delay happened in August of 2020, and they said it was going to end up going into 2021 instead of that November release, because it was supposed to release this year. Halo Infinite was supposed to release November of this year to coincide with the Xbox Series X and S, which released this year. However, those consoles instead didn't release with a brand new game on console except Gears Tactics but I already came out on PC on Game Pass a long time before that and Halo Infinite was supposed to be the flagship game for people to pick up their Series X and S's hell on the back of the box they literally have a giant picture of Master Chief from Halo to promote it like obviously these delays really put an entire blemish on on the series X and S as well as Microsoft 343 Studios and the IP of Halo as a whole. Halo hasn't been the same franchise ever since Bungie stopped making their games and now Bungie's instead have been making these horrible Destiny games. I'm not sure how people enjoy these looter shooter kind of games. I'm not a huge fan of most of them. The only one I think is half decent is Warframe but I really think Bungie 
should have stayed in Microsoft and should still be creating all of these Halo games to this day because look how bad they look. I know some of you like certain games like Halo 4 or Halo Reach and stuff, but no, no, and I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? Halo just hasn't been the same, and Halo Infinite needs to be the game to revive the series because if Halo Infinite doesn't revive the series, who knows what the future may be. So this delay could be very impactful in a very beneficial way. But like I mentioned a little bit earlier with Cyberpunk 2077, which is a current issue going on that had delays in gaming, it's very hard to figure out what can happen, but hopefully with these delays, it will make it so Halo Infinite could be the best game it could possibly be and to possibly even revive the Halo franchise. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please show your support to the channel by smashing that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the live streams, videos, music, reviews, hot takes, what's wrong with videos and more. And consider becoming a member of our community, the 100% click to join up on either YouTube, Patreon, or as a subscriber on Twitch. You can do all that with the links that are in the description of the video. And if you join our community, you get a ton of perks and benefits. You join our exclusive Discord, get access to exclusive emotes and exclusive YouTube live streams and Discord live streams, and a ton more benefits for all of you that support the channel and the content we provide here. So definitely consider becoming a member or even consider donating to the channel to help sh show support. Uh, the links for that are also in the description as well. And thank you all for watching. I just really want to play a good Halo game. And it's been a very long time since then for me. And Halo Infinite needs to be the game to revive the franchise. Hopefully Halo Infinite can be a pretty good game. Because let's be honest. It's going to hopefully be decent at best. But we don't even have to buy an Xbox Series X to play it. We can just play it on Game Pass PC. Soup's on the B. Pockets on me, what you ask it? Black jasket Is it way too much to be asking? Black jasket Black casket Pockets on me, what you ask it? Black casket Black casket Crying for me, what you basket? Over my casket Black 